I'm sitting on the floor in the Church of the Holy Trinity up in the sanctuary next to one of the pews. Uh, these pews up here are slightly different from the pews out in the rest of the church. Um, the pews in the rest of the church have this same symbol, but they don't have the words. And so they spent a little more time and I, I guess a little more money on these pews putting the words in. Uh, but they're, they're interesting words, they're important words, and they remind us of a central aspect of the Christian faith and certainly our faith here at Holy Trinity. Um, there's a P and F and uh, two S's. Um, for the Latin words, pater, meaning father, filio, meaning son, um, sanctus spiritus, uh, Holy Spirit. And so in Latin, this is an old symbol for the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But if you could see closer, it basically says non est, again Latin for is not, not is, is not. So it read circular, it says the Father is not the Son, is not the Holy Spirit, is not the Father, is not the Son, is not the Holy Spirit. And so we're in this circle of negation. Um, it's a, a way of, of, of getting at what God is and who God is by saying, first of all, who and what God is not. Um, in, in theological terms, sometimes this kind of theology is called apophatic theology. Um, it has to do with negating so that we can get to what's essential, to what's true, to what's real. Um, but if you look on the inside, there's Deus, God. And then there, there are these connectors, est. So, pater, the father is God. Filio, the son is God. Uh, Spiritus Sanctus, the spirit is God. And so while the father is not the son, is not the spirit, is not the father, they're not the same exact things. They, each one, are part of who God is. And so in shorthand, in symbol form, the Holy Trinity is right here in our architecture. Of, hopefully it's right here in our hearts too. Um, sometimes we might need God's presence more as God the, the parent figure. Uh, sometimes we need God's presence alongside us like a sibling. Um, and often we need God's spirit to sustain us and give us new life and to, uh, to give us a second and third and fourth and fifth breath. Um, but especially in these challenging days uh, where perhaps we wonder where God is, um, we can open ourselves to the fullness of God's Holy Trinity, and God's continuing dance of love, as some theologians have put it, and, and pray that God would reveal God's self to us in whatever way we most need. May God bless us and keep us safe this day and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.